Hey friends, I welcome you all to yet another learning series of our exciting commands. So today we will learn copy and deletion command. Okay. So what will we will cover? CP, MV, RM, and RMTIR. Okay. Let's move forward. What is CP? CP is a famous copy command. So suppose if I want to copy anything, any file, any folder, I just say CP and the folder part. So it will copy info into the temp. Okay. Similarly, I can copy a folder, but I have to use uh, recursive because folder may have a content. So I have to use hyphen R, and then I have to use this. Okay. Suppose when I'm copying a file. I don't want to change timestamp then I say hyphen a okay similarly I just talked about the hyphen r so if you want to recursively copy the entire content of the file so you say hyphen r right similarly if you want to keep all the permissions of the file so you say hyphen p for forcing you say hyphen f right and suppose if you before copying if you want the copy to prompt you you say hyphen i so before overwriting the copy will prompt you okay so let's try out this command okay so okay so uh, you know better off this one right so i say copy i say cp uh, there is a file called sync.cpp right and if i want to copy it in temp right uh, first i should show you that the temp uh, we don't have any of such file so you see there is no file by this name so we go back we say uh, clear first right we say cp sync dot cpp in the temp and right so it creates a copy of the file in temp so still we have the sync.cpp here let's go in the temp directory you will see it is there and it has been just written okay so let's remove it okay okay Oh, sorry. So, suppose if I want to copy the sync file in such a fashion that its timestamp is not changed, let us see what is the timestamp of that file. It is of 8th June. Current date is this. Okay, so you, you saw now when I copied this file, its timestamp changed to this time, but I want to preserve the timestamp. Then what would I do? I will cp hyphen a and then I will do um, sync dot cp okay in the test folder. So I want to copy in the te test and let us go and see what has happened to it. See it is of the same date. Right. So by using hyphen a it preserves the timestamp okay so uh, let us go back okay so uh, suppose if I, if I want to copy this folder okay inside test folder how would I do it I will say cp this or oh, it's not copying why because if you see closely the sorry I have to change directory so the SD folder it has subdirectory then further you have another subdirectory so you see right it, it has subdirectory so it's not copying so what would you do you will force it you will say recursively copy this into test okay now it seems it has copied this time let us see yes it does has he copied all the content of that 
directory yes it does yes it has so I mean this is how you recursively tell um, to copy the entire content of your folder right and similarly you can force to override or you can ask for the uh, prompt before overriding okay so let's go back to the tutorial okay so move command is in X it's a pretty dangerous command I tell you move and RM if you commit any mistake you will not able to recover the data okay so you use it very carefully and only when it is required okay so you say move file and when you say move it will move that file into that specific so in case of copy you have a you, you have just copied that file into a directory but that file is still exists but in case of move it will actually copy that file into the directory path you are mentioning and it will no longer exist in the current directory okay similarly you can use move for renaming suppose if i want to copy this file and i also want to rename it how would i say i will say move abc.txt and then i will mention the path and the name of the file so finally the same file with the same content will be copied to this location with this name with the same content okay similarly rm command it removes directory or rmdir it removes uh, sorry rm removes files or directories and rmdir removes directories i hardly use rmdir so you can use rm and you can use it to remove directories also so suppose if i want to remove a text file i say rm and the text file name it will remove the text file similarly if i want to uh, delete a folder i have to say recursively and i force so i don't want a remove to tell me whether it should remove it or not so i say rm and it will remove okay similarly i can use rmdir but rm does most of the job so i don't see any use of it okay so let's go to the practical exercise okay so suppose let's list and uh, we have a uh, this file and suppose if I want to move provide this file into temp let us see whether it has moved or not so it does not exist in the current path let us go to the temp and let's see yes it does exist okay so so this is how move command is used right now similarly i mean you can rename suppose i want to rename a file called abc.csv and i want to place uh, i want to just remove rename it here only and i want to rename it as my test file my test underscore one dot txt and i say this let us see you see it does not exist so what exists is this so rename solve okay similarly if i want to remove it i will say rm file name enter it will ask for the permission i will say yes and it will delete suppose if i don't want to I don't want permit it to ask a permission. I will say force. RM force. Full delete. Do not ask for the permission. Similarly, if I want to remove a folder, I will say RM ASDF. It will not delete. Why? Because ASDF has content in it. So RM will not delete. So you have to say remove it recursively and it will then ask whether I should delete this and this and that. So to avoid that you say RM rf forcefully delete and you will see that the directory does not exist anymore so so these were our basic copy and deletion command hope you may have liked it and please like and share with your friends and share your feedback okay bye signing off